My name is Chris Walter. I'm the flood protection slash INI coordinator for the city of Cape Girardeau, and I work in the public works department. We're here today at the Meriwether Pump Station. It's part of Cape Girardeau's flood protection system, and we're getting ready to go on a tour to see how stormwater goes from the city streets and out to the Mississippi River. So rain will fall in the grass, on the pavement, in the street, and it'll go to a intake box, which is where it starts entering the storm system itself. So we ask people not to pollute because any bottles or styrofoam cups wash down here as well and we have to have a trash gate in order to protect our pumps from being damaged. From there, it all gets piped down. There's 316 acres that gets drained to this specific pump station. And from here, it comes in a large tunnel. And then when the river rises to 32 feet, we actually have to go into operations to keep river from backflowing into um, our own storm system. So once we close off uh, the gates within the pump station, water will then be able to come into the pump station itself, which is about 20 feet below where I'm standing. And then there are five pumps here that can handle that water. We have two pumps that are submersibles, which handle the base flow. So that's basically any groundwater that continues to drain whenever the river's up at flood stage. And then behind me, we have three storm pumps. These are 200 horsepower pumps. They uh, can manage about 20,000 gallons per minute. So when we have a heavy rain and all the pumps are running, this pump station moves 67,000 gallons per minute. This is our control center. So all of the pumps are operated off of it and it's actually automatic. So based on the sensors that are in the building can actually gauge the depth that the water is. And so they're set up to turn on in stages so our base flow pumps, um, you have typical groundwater that is constantly flowing into the pump station. Uh, they'll kick on and run in cycles. Um, it's usually several hours um, before they'll kick on. But once we have a heavy rain, that's when our storm pumps start kicking on. And so as the elevation of the water within the pump station begins to rise, another pump will continue to kick on until all the pumps are running. From here, it gets pumped into a discharge chamber, which is a big concrete structure right behind the pump station itself. So now we're here in the discharge chamber or the wet well. And as the Mississippi River rises to flood stage, um, there would actually be water up here. So what happens is, is as the river continues to rise, once we close um, the gates at the pump station, uh, the pumps will actually pump water into this and so the flap gates prevents any water in here from flowing back into the pump station. So once this fills up, um, after a pump kicks on, it will then settle and equal out with the Mississippi River. So we don't actually pump water into the Mississippi, it equals out. So an interesting fact about the discharge chamber is in about 1958 when these were built, they actually used two by sixes to make forms for the concrete pour because we didn't have uh, modern concrete forms like we did today. So that's why you see the appearance of wood grain planks within the concrete. So one other thing to note is that both the Meriwether pump station and the Mill Street pump station have their own generators. So in the event that the city were to lose power and we're above flood stage, the pumps can continue to run. So this concludes our tour of the pump station. Thanks for watching and hopefully now you understand the importance that the pump station has for our flood protection system.